so here in this session we will see uh, static version compensator statcoms components and main configuration so in previous lecture we just uh, focused on the operating principle of statcom so if you will see just i want to revise that basic principle so if you will see this it is a equivalent single line equivalent diagram of the statcom where this part represents voltage source converter type because we have seen there are two types of static compensation shunt compensation two types based on the variable reactance we have seen tcr tsc and second type is based on the voltage source converter type so statcom is a based on the voltage source converter type so of course it has to have the converter now when converter is required then it will require input dc voltage so dc voltage is given to the converter and this dc voltage is converted into ac voltage so this side is ac and it is coupled because it is a shunt compensation so it is connected across the transmission line so this is the transmission line or power system and this is whole this resembles with the uh, statcom so this is a statcom so it couples this converter is coupled to the transmission system through the transformer so it is a magnetic coupling so whatever is the terminal voltage this vs it will be connected to the transmission line now in this figure transmission line voltage is represented by et and voltage across the source uh, converter is represented by es so we have seen how this statcom operates based upon the difference of the magnitude what is the terminal voltage of the transmission line what is the voltage source converter voltage so what is the magnitude whether es is higher than et or et is higher than es depending upon that statcom will function as a um, you can say reactive power absorptions or generation so statcom will be used for generating reactive power or absorbing reactive power depending upon the magnitude difference of these two voltages but it is also used to supply or absorb real power but that will based upon the phase difference between et and es in that case magnitude of this et and es will remain constant so this is the principle of operation so here i had uh, explained this when es this voltage across the satcom is higher than et it will supply reactive power means when this voltage is higher of course this will supply reactive power but when this voltage will be less than this it will absorb reactive power okay so when voltage of this statcom will be leading than the um, transmission line voltage then it will supply real power but when voltage et will lead than es then it will absorb real power so that principle we discussed in uh, last uh, session now today's uh, session is based on configuration and components so as just now i explained in the principle of operations this is equivalent circuit diagram of statcom now it is having two types of converter that we will see so here it is represented with a gate operated uh, transformer the thyristors so gto based but igbt also will be used so two types of converters are used so that we will discuss input voltage is given with the dc capacitor so this is a dc side and this is ac side and i told you output voltage of this converter is coupled to the power system through the transformer so this is a coupling just coupling and it is magnetic coupling so equivalent circuit diagram of this this is single line diagram and equivalent circuit diagram will be like this so this is acting as a variable voltage source so this is inverter or converter output voltage which is variable because this voltage is very varied so statcom is used as a variable voltage source so it can just supply reactive power or real power and also it will just use for the voltage control also two modes are there that we will see in the operation but here we are discussing basic configuration and components and this transform is having leakage reactance so that uh, reactance of transform is represented by a react so what is the voltage across the converter es it was shown in last figure and here it is uh, et or you can just represent in terms of v1 and v2 so v1 is voltage across the converter or inverter and v2 is the transmission system voltage so if v1 is greater than vt <coughs> what will happen this voltage is higher so it will supply reactive power but when v1 will be less than that will absorb reactive power so depending upon the need of the system 
so what it consists what statcom consists of so statcom consists the main component as a voltage source converter now it is used to convert dc input voltage to the ac voltage so we have seen because it is a converter so converter has to convert dc input into the ac output and there are two types of vsc i told you <coughs> so that was gt gto thyristors so either that converter will consist of gate turn of thyristor then it will just generate square wave so it is called as square wave inverter so purposefully in this figure i had shown you inverter <coughs> but uh, it was converter in earlier figure so it consists of two types of voltage source converter first type is square wave inverters using gate turn of thyristors so in this type vsc output voltage is controlled by changing the dc capacitor input voltage so here you can see here it is a dc voltage and it is dc capacitor now this dc capacitor voltage can be maintained constant or it can be varied so it will be if it oh, dc voltage of the capacitor is varied means you are changing the input voltage of the inverter to change the output voltage then as the fundamental component of the converter output voltage is proportional to the dc voltage means see what is your main task main task is you are representing this inverter or converter with a variable voltage and how you will get variable output voltage one type is just you vary the input voltage so dc voltage you will vary capacitor voltage you can change and then you can change the output voltage so this is one type which is used using get uh, the means gto but when you will use igbt then principle of varying output voltage will be different so in this get turn of thyristors you are changing the voltage output of the capacitor because fundamental component of converter output voltage is proportional to the dc voltage of course output is related to the input voltage now you can just have different levels of inverters will be here so generally four three level inverters are used four means four three level inverters it can be double level it can be multiple level inverters but generally this is the combination four three level inverters are used to use 48 step voltage waveform so according to your need of the voltage waveform you can change the levels and also the inverters number and it will control reactive power flow by changing the dc capacitor input voltage simply because this is just repetition fundamental components so you remember this when you are considering square wave inverters or when you are considering get turn of thyristor you consider that dc input voltage across the capacitor it change because when we will see operation when you will read operation from the books that will be not mentioning with what type of voltage source converter it is explained so there is will be uh, slight confusion but you can remember either the capacitor voltage can be varied or it can be maintained constant depending upon the type of vs so if you will remember this fact then operation will not be confusing to you so in addition to that we have seen coupling transformer magnetic transformer is used why what is the role of that no, just take a coupling means magnetic coupling so it also neutralizes harmonics contained in the square wave okay so that transformer attenuates the harmonics or minimizes now second type of vsc is pwm inverters using insulated gate bipolar transistor so igbt is more advanced than gtu so when it is used pwm pulse modulation will technique is used it will create sinusoidal waveform not the square waveform from the dc voltage source with a typical chopping frequency so frequency you can change now it consists of gto based type igbt based vsc utilizes means in contrast with so i told you gto consist uh, of uh, gate uh, thyristor and here it is uh, igbt's are used advanced type so what is the difference so their uh, capacitor voltage is varied here it will keep fixed so it utilizes a fixed dc voltage and it's varies output so output ac voltage is varied by changing the modulation index of the pwm modulator so here fixed capacitor voltage is used then how you can change output voltage of that vsc output voltage will be changed by changing the modulation index now it also has dc capacitor apart from vsc dc capacitor is used it is used to supply constant dc voltage or variable dc voltage depending upon the type of vsc 
and inductive reactance means power transformer so we can say what are the basic components of um, statcom vac transformer and capacitor and of course dc voltage will be also there sometimes harmonic filters are also used after the transformer or across the converter to attenuate harmonics of high frequency contents so that was simplified diagram we have seen now reactive power of statcom is produced by means of power electronic equipment i told you either it can be used for reactive power control or it can be also used for real power control here also you need to understand the basic modes of operations are there so either real power uh, absorption or generation or reactive power generation and absorption so vac may be two level three level or any level and number of vac are combined in a multiples connections to form a statcom in steady state vac is operated with fundamental frequency switching to minimize converter losses so there are also modes of operation steady state and in transient that we see in actual operating uh, modes so in steady state vac operates with fundamental frequency switching to minimize converter losses because converter losses will be there so for you must adjust voltage uh, for the um, supplying this losses because whatever is the losses of converter that you have to adjust from the input side dc side now due to transient condition caused by line faults a pulse width modulated modulator is used so whatever two types we have seen you can consider this igbt mode of vac for the transient conditions okay so in this way statcom is able to withstand transients without blocking so basic configuration you can just see here it is explained but here energy source is not uh, discussed this energy source will be required when you need this statcom to control real power and reactive power also because when you want to control real power then the phase difference of this voltage and the voltage across uh, converter you have to change so uh, it will also require to have energy source and when energy source will be actually this is voltage across capacitor is shown or dc voltage is required but who will supply that dc voltage so you have to show your energy source and when energy source is used um, then you can just have the full control and here you can have control reference control real power and reactive power this is for controlling operations of vsc because you need to change this voltage depending upon the uh, requirement of the system what is the system voltage if it is drop then it has to supply voltage if voltage will be higher then it has to absorb the voltage so here this is the just basic diagram or you can say actual implementation diagram so here you can see these are the vsc walls or converter and this will be the control room where uh, it is represented with real power reference and reactive power reference so this will be the control room uh, this vsc or converters also are sometimes enclosed uh, then these are the phase reactors means trans uh, you can just see uh, reactors are used for filtering also i told you and this is the coupling transformer so this will be the actual diagram now uh, you can just see um, this uh, again uh, you can just remember this point from this uh, session that uh, when it is gto based that will be variable voltage and when it is igbt based then it will supply uh, constant dc voltage so this uh, you if you will remember there will be no um, confusion so again uh, i will say you um, what is the role of this capacitor this capacitor gives the dc voltage to the converter so this capacitor bank is used to support the control dc voltage needed for the vs now it is used control dc voltage so for it is gto type okay or fixed voltage for igbt type so capacitor uh, role is to give the dc input voltage to the converter now primary need of capacitor is to provide a circulating path as well as voltage source so this circulates the current and also the voltage input side of the converter and magnitude of the capacitor is chosen to have dc voltage across its terminal which can remain fixed in terms of igbt operations from contributing to the ripples so just ripple will also produce so capacitor has to take care of that also so depending upon the converter configuration which two types we have seen it is possible to calculate the minimum capacitance required to meet the system requirement such as ripple limits ripple should be less in the waveform 
सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटर्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द रिपल लिमिट ऑफ द डी सी वोल्टेज एंड द रिएक्टिव पावर सपोर्ट नीडेड टू द सिस्टम सो रिपल हैज टू बी लेस सो दैट 